So this is another pretty uh, common example of using things in make.com where um, we are building a campaign analytics sheet for one of our customers so that we could take all of the data from smart lead and we put it into a Google sheet. And um, basically what we're doing here is we're enriching for the analytics. Well, I guess we're listing the campaigns over here and then we have a filter to actually check that it's their user ID over here. And then it's like going to a Google sheet and it's searching the rows for the row numbers. And then what I really want to explain is this router thing. And so we have this whole workflow going over here. It's not necessarily important what's going on over here. What is happening though is I what I had to account for is if we added a campaign that we have never like ran through this workflow before, we can't just keep updating a row. We have to add a row. So what we do in make.com is we use this router where um, this acts as our like if then statement. And so uh, basically when we search the rows and a row exists that matches and the campaign name from our smart lead API call matches the campaign name in a Google sheet, we update that row. And so you can see that right here where it's campaign A equal to uh, data name. So that's basically like this one is coming from here and then this one is coming from here. So it's basically does the campaign, the, the data in this column, do any of them match the campaign name that we're searching through right here? If it's a match, we're just going to update this row. If it is not a match and there's none, then we're going to add a row. And so then you see here, we just have row number basic operators does not exist. Then it updates this one. And so uh, I won't go over this whole workflow, but routers are really important for creating these like if then statements for like, you know, if this is true, then we're going to send it here. If this is true, we're going to send it here and, and cover all of your bases. So you don't have to like, it, cause it would be crazy to like remake a whole workflow just for when things didn't exist when it's just literally you just add this on over here. So there you go.